Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. I was just looking at the comments on show 447, the show when I asked people where they're from, and I counted the countries up, and the country where the most people are from or live now is the United States. So obviously Americans have excellent taste when it comes to online video. Apart from the United States, other countries represented were Germany, Russia, Australia, Canada, England, Israel, Italy, Vietnam, Brazil, Denmark, Hungary, Japan, Sweden, France, Norway, Mexico, Holland. Speaking of different countries and languages, the script of this show is usually translated into Japanese. You can see the link for the English transcript and the Japanese translation in the video description. If anyone has, or wants to in the future, translate a script, or just part of it, say just the introduction, or just the news, or the conversation, if you translated that into another language, and then published it on your blog or your site, then it would be really great if you could send me the link, and then I'll put that link in the video description next to that video, and then people can go straight to your blog or site and read your translation. Even if you just do it once for English study or just for fun or whatever, then send me the link. That'd be great. Kia ora. In stick news today, it's the Sky Tower's birthday. The tallest freestanding structure in the Southern Hemisphere is now 10 years old. The Sky Tower is a tower in Auckland, New Zealand. It's 328 metres tall. According to Wikipedia, it's the 13th tallest member of the World Federation of Great Towers. The Sky Tower was opened on the 3rd of March 1997. Not all Kiwis were impressed when the tower was built. Some say it looks like a syringe. The tower is constructed of reinforced high-performance concrete. This weekend, the Sky Tower is celebrating its 10th birthday. The celebrations include fireworks and birthday cakes. And that was Stick News for Friday the 3rd of August. Kia ora. Have you been to the Sky Tower? Really? But didn't you live in Auckland? I guess you usually don't do touristy things when you're living somewhere. Do you have to pay to go up it? What's at the top? What's the casino like? No. Well, I've walked past it and driven past it, but I've never been up it. Yeah, I lived there for a year. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think you do. If it was free, I would have probably gone up it. Um, some restaurants, I think. And there's a casino next to the tower. I've been to the casino. Uh, I didn't like it. I don't care what people like about casinos. It wasn't fun at all. Auckland has over of the country's population. A, a quarter, B, a third, C, half. A. Auckland is one of the few cities in the world to have harbours on separate major bodies of water. A, two, B, three, C, four. A. Auckland has the Polynesian population of any city in the world. A. Smallest B. Largest C. Only B. The Māori name of Auckland is A. Kirikiriroa B. Tamaki Makoto C. Ōtautahi B. The Mayor of Auckland is A. Tom Dubbard B. Dick Hubbard C. Harry Tubbard B. And that was the Daily English Show. See you tomorrow. Bye.